Yeah, can you get me in touch with uh, Joseph real fast? I've been trying to reach him a little bit. Thank you. Joseph, you little rat. I've been trying to get in touch with you all day. We needed those reports that you were supposed to be working on yesterday. Where are they at? Nobody even is even near ready. Yeah, that's not how this is gonna work. You yeah, not sir. You don't even understand what I'm talking about, do you? Yeah. I said fried rice, not white rice. No, don't worry about the white rice. Just worry about what I'm saying, all right? We needed those case files, and you don't even have them ready. I. Hey. Did he hang up. What's going on out there? My god, what happened to the lights? What the? Are those? Tanks?
Don't. Are you armed? Put your shit in the bag. Are you with them? The militia? I'm not with anyone. I can show you where I got the water. Please. It's all I've got. Just kill me. I'm as good as dead anyway. I'm tired of running. I'm tired of hiding. I'm tired of being scared. Drink. Drink. Where are you gonna go? Nowhere. Wandering. Trying to follow the storms. Do you wanna come with me? Does it matter? Or you can stay here. I don't care. that water. Tire tracks. Not one of ours. Someone had a firearm. Heard that clear as day.
fire's about three, four hours. Couldn't be that far. Y'all in the mood for a hunt? Hey guys, James here. Well, thank you for checking out our last episode for the Operation Survival Challenge. I really want to thank our sponsors, One Tigress, Dragonfire Tinderbox, and Bark River Knives for sending us this stuff. Thank you guys for the support. I want to thank Gabe Humphreys from His Survival who, in, who invited me to do this. He's the creator of the concept. I also want to thank Jacob from Prepper's Bunker Outdoors who also embarked upon a Operation Survival Challenge. So much thanks to Ben, my volunteer. He really, really brought his A-game. Uh, he really is a city slicker, so for him to be out there in triple degree heat in the mountains, surrounded by rattlesnakes and cactus, and there's bug bites, you know, and we're getting sunburned, and he really was a champ about it. He really did learn. I was actually personally surprised how much he learned survival skills out there while we were shooting, and, you know, he brought a lot of really good nuance and charisma to the character. It was very important for me from the start. I didn't want him to just be a volunteer, but he, I wanted him to be a character where the audience can empathize with him and root for him. And, you know, when he's in danger and when he's hang, uh, hungry or fatigued, you know, and you guys embrace the character. And I thought he really brought a lot of really great acting, a lot of body language and facial expressions. So, Ben, you're a champ. So, thank you all so much who put uh, work in this with me. Uh, this has been my most ambitious project to date. I will be making a director's cut pretty soon with all three episodes combined. A couple of tweaks here and there, and a little bit more information story-wise on the characters. You'll get to know them a little bit more, and you'll get to know where they're going because there's definitely a specific destination that they're heading to. So, keep your eyes open for that, and uh, we're going to be giving away this Bark River Knife as well to one lucky viewer. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Cheers to that. I'll see you guys next week with another video. Now go outside and get your boots dirty. And he sent me a really awesome rifle sling. Gee, sorry, dude. What the fuck was that? A lot of... Oh, shit. I God. told you, hold that shit.